My name is Mike Kaznia. My wife and I moved into Sykesville in around 1974. Uh, we moved into um, the old uh, fire station, um, blacksmith shop, livery stable, and uh, uh, fixed it up. But at the same time, I was working for the U.S. Food and Drug Administration starting in 1972. One of the assignments I got after uh, working for FDA for several years was to inspect the apple butter uh, factory. Uh, this was a standard FDA inspection. I knew nothing about it other than the fact it was a really short commute from where I lived uh, for doing that inspection. I went over, presented credentials. Uh, there's two gentlemen there at the time, uh, and they uh, laid out for me what the, the role of the, uh, the factory was. Uh, they had explained that it had previously uh, been uh, used for making applesauce and apple butter, uh, but they had quit doing that um, several years previous. The, uh, the facility was used for storing apples, and there was a number of very large crates of apples uh, stored in there at the time. Uh, they also uh, said that they were storing many other things, and it was primarily a warehouse uh, at that point in, in history. And they also mentioned that they were building another um, extension to the warehouse, and that was a metal building uh, that was ultimately uh, put up on the pad where the skate park is now. Um, it was about 10 years after that was built, uh, it we had a heavy snow and uh, the uh, roof of that uh, got a big load of snow and it collapsed and uh, fell in and so they took it away and it's now a, a skate park. Uh, the facility itself only had two employees when I was doing the inspection and uh, these were people that were moving things around in, in the warehouse at the time. So I think that was in the latter part of its, uh, its useful life at, at that point. And uh, it was a very short inspection and a short commute over to it. And uh, that's what I remember.